Alex the Car Doctor. The doc is in today with another informative video. Today we're going to be talking about, and I'm sitting down because I'm tired of walking around all day. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, we're going to be talking about what your tires are telling you and uneven tire wear. Why do your tires wear unevenly? So I'm going to be discussing some points, showing you guys some examples. Let's jump right into it. I'm going to be giving you guys five ways that your tires can be wearing unevenly. Number one, tire care. Rotating your tires is an important one because if you don't rotate your tires, the front or the rear may wear unevenly. You may have a lot more tread in the back than in the front. So the point of rotating it just to make sure you wear those tires evenly. This goes for all cars, makes and models, no matter if you got four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, front-wheel drive. Another point is tire inflation. You have to make sure the tires are at their proper PSI. If you don't know what your proper PSI is, you can easily look in your door. And your door is normally right here. This one is in the door um, trim. And it's a little sticker. And this one says, you follow this over rear, 30 PSI, front, 30 PSI. Now, let me give you an example. If you run the tires low or too high, this is what can happen to the tire. So, first example. This tire was overinflated. As you can see, good tread on the outside, but bad tread in the middle. Underinflation. Good tread in the middle, bad tread on the outer. You can see it's starting to crack right there. Uh, it's really bald on the edges. Your tire don't supposed to look like that on the edges. Number two, loose or broken suspension component. Loose or broken suspension components can cause the tire to wear either on the outside or the inside. Now, a lot of people may say, oh, it's a pretty good tire. You have pretty tread on it. Now, this is looking from the outside. But if you look on the inside, man, this is a Maypop. <laughs> you can see this. Very worn out. What's now, a, What's a Maypop for the <laughs> A Maypop that it can pop at any time. I can look at it wrong and boom. <laughs> I'll just play pop. it. <laughs> yeah, Maypop. <laughs> so, like I, like I mentioned before, if the tire is driving down, well, I didn't mention this before, but I'll give you a quick example. If two tires, perfect aligned car, two tires supposed to be straight. Now, if this damage was on the outside, this means this tire is pointing in and this tire is being drugged sideways because this tire is going straight. So it's going down the road like this. That's what's causing that to wear out. Now, if this tire is how it's wearing on the inside is it's snow shoveling that was sort of like pointing in snow shoveling means it's pointing out well snow shoveling means both of the tires are kind of pointing out and the car is driving down the road but just say if one tire is pointing out you'll get this damage on the inside now that means two things either your suspension components are loose or you have some stuff that's broken all right, what I mean by loose uh, suspension components, you could either have a loose tie rod in, loose inner tie rod in, or a ball joint that's loose, or could have some worn out control arm bushings. Things like that could cause inner or outer tie rod, I mean, inner or outer tire wear. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I get my words mixed up sometimes. You gotta excuse me. All right, so the things that won't cause this type of wear is CV axles, um, sway bar bushings or links, and bad shocks. It won't cause wear like I showed you guys. Number three, shocks. Now, while I'm on the subject of shocks, shocks can also cause its own tie wear. The reason I didn't include it in that tie wear because that's a different type of tie wear. So jumping right into it, looking at this tire at a glance, you'd be like, oh, it's fine. This car, this tire was on a car that had bad shocks. And how do you know it had bad shocks? Because the tire is wavy. If you rub your hand 
across the tie, it feels like little mountains. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Maybe if you get a side view. Okay. So you can see it's, it's very wavy. So bad shocks would do that. They give you an explanation of why the tire is like this because the shock's supposed to control rebound. Think of it like this. You have a basketball, right? You drop the basketball. The basketball is gonna keep bouncing. So let's pretend it's, the basketball is on a car. So if the uh, car go over a bump, the car tire is gonna continue to bounce on the pavement. That's what's gonna cause those wavy wear. <laughs> And when the tire is wavy like this, you will hear like little noises. It sounds like a bad wheel bearing, of kind of, kind of sort of. Um, so you have to make sure the shocks are good. Now, if the shocks are good, when the tire go over a bump, it go over a bump and it gets planted right back on the road. So that's the importance of shocks. It keeps the tire from bouncing like a basketball. Number four, alignment. All right, so. Just like before, this tire looks pretty good, but apparently there's some issues going on with this tire. It's really low on this side and very high on this side. That means this car, this tire was on a vehicle that was out of a line. Something like loose suspension components, but the tires are just not pointing straight down the road and you have to get an alignment. So you guys, you know, it's a lot that goes into this stuff. So if you do have loose suspension components, get them replaced and then right after get an alignment or your tire will continue to wear. Number five, accidents. So if your car has been in an accident, depending on where it was hit, you could have bent suspension components. Naked to the human eye, it may, be, it may look fine and you may take the car to a body shop and they may fix the body, but don't do the alignment for whatever reason or the frame could be twisted, or because it could be a lot of things that's going on that throw the car out of, the, the wheel out of alignment, and the wheel will drag, something like you see here. Now, that good people is my five top reasons of why you could be having uneven tire wear, so please pay attention to what your car tires are telling you. Now, I will have a video of me discussing new or used tires if you're in the market, I will have that video somewhere in the screen or, or down in my um, sub description. Description, yeah. <laughs> now, if you have guys any if you have any questions uh, or did I leave anything out, please comment. I'm always up to answering any question you guys may have. I'm, I want to help. That's what I'm here for. Save you some money. Live better. I think that's the Walmart uh, thing. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, good people. I, Alex the Car Doctor out. Uh, I enjoyed you guys. Um, I have more videos to come.